Hey gang. Okay, so I've pulled La Signe here a few times for B-roll, but I don't think I've stopped to explain why I always call this ship by its name rather than its model. Short answer is that I've had this Corsair since concept, and the concept came with the promotion of being able to name her. My love for the ship goes back a long, long ways, in other words, to the literal beginning of the Corsair's life, at least as far as it applies to us in the community. So now, CIG is nerfing the Corsair. Let's take a quick shallow dive into why I think it's happening now. Separate the wheat from the chaff and boy howdy is there a lot of chaff right now. And talk about what CIG is thinking of doing and what I think they should do with my armchair dev experience. So if that sounds good, let's get this. I don't think this will take too long because this seems like it happened for some pretty obvious reasons. So let's start with the original Corsair design, the concept. Or how about instead we just start with Drake in general? Drake's, well, I'll just say it's they're, they're a wee bit shady. They make pirate ships. Drake ships are upgunned and under-armored. That second one isn't in the game yet, so they're really just upgunned right now. So kind of all benefit, no cost. Not a bad deal, at least for the now. But anyways, Drake is known for having bigger guns and more guns on their vessels than their counterparts from other manufacturers. Granted, this has kind of gone by the wayside recently, but I think the cutter, but it certainly applied when the Corsair was designed, which was basically just the upscaled version of a covered in guns cutty. The Corsair was basically just a Connie size cutty, in other words. So now we're all cut up. That was the original pitch. There was a little bit of massaging the ship after its release, like there always is, mostly trying to dial in its flight model, and they're still working on that to this day. It kind of had a similar ride as the Prowler, which was way too maneuverable when it came out, thus making it kind of a king fighter despite its large size. And they nipped that in the bud very early on, and it kind of fell back in line with the other ships that it was contemporary with. And here's where I think things went wrong. In the latest patch, well, really a patch or two ago, I think, or at this point, CIG changed the way gimbals worked. Previously, the Corsair was pretty heavily armed, but not ridiculously so, rocking two size four mounts on the wings and then four size five mounts on the nose. Of course, the first thing me and many Corsair owners did was pop off the gimbal size fours and slap on fixed size fives. I think it took me about two bounty missions before I realized the gimbal size fours were practically a necessity for taking on anything smaller than a Connie. The maneuvering profile of the Corsair just was not good enough to keep up with smaller ships. Because of that, downsizing the guns to the size fours, but slapping them on the more aim-friendly gimbals meant landing more shots on the smaller, lighter fighters. And that was the trade-off back in those days. You could go with the big guns, but they were firmly attached directly to the maneuverability of your ship. Or you could go for the smaller guns on gimbals and get the advantage of gimbals over the cost of just that raw firepower. Of course, 324, with the change in how gimbals worked, meant that there was no longer a trade-off at all. You could slap those size fives on those gimbals and now have all the advantages of gimbals and the big guns. It quickly became obvious that, by rocking four size fives up front, on gimbals just made the Corsair way overpowered. I mean, there's a reason why you're seeing so many of them out there now. It was an enormous, overpowered, unintended buff, and it unbalanced the ship against its contemporaries. Of course, CIG was going to bring it back to level. So with that in mind, CIG is looking at options for doing that. 
One of the recent ones that they came up with was to tie two of those guns on the nose to the co-pilot seat, which is kind of weird unless they're going to make those two guns an actual turret of its own and not just gimbaled. But even that doesn't make a lot of sense. The Cutlass has a ton of firepower, all controlled by the pilot. And with the Corsair being the big brother, it makes sense that it would kind of be the same. Maybe not four size fives and two size fours all on gimbals, but six pilot controlled guns on a Drake ship is kind of in line with their reputation. It would seem the most obvious way to balance it out would be to drop the size of the gimbals by one. So four size four gimbals, like the original design. I mean, the Corsair wasn't OP in the previous patch with that loadout. The community is being a tad bit dramatic about this, kind of like it always is, since this change was tested out in the PTU and not even the PU, both of which I'll add are testing environments. There's going to be a lot of tweaks and changes CIG will be making in the coming year and years, and not all of them will be obvious or successful for that matter. So yeah, let your voice be heard, but the whole I'm refunding because CIG changed something, well, not to be too harsh, but welcome to game development. But this is open game development. CIG is making the game for those of us playing the game. So if people stop playing, there's not going to be a game at all. I don't go to this well often, but this game is an alpha. CIG is testing things and balancing things. Just confirmation bias is also a thing. Just because everyone on Spectrum, Facebook, Reddit, Discord, or whatever are loudly saying the same thing over and over again, doesn't necessarily mean the majority of the community feels the same way. That said, yeah, switching two nose guns to the co-pilot is dumb. There, I said it. And I'd just like to add for those of you who are Constellation owners, you might be next because the Connie also has the same situation as the Corsair. It had guns that you could transfer between smaller gimbals or larger fixed, and now you just get larger gimbals. So yeah, after they're done chopping at the Corsair, the Connie might be next. One last thing I'll point out is that there are three things out there still in development that are going to be dramatically changing everything. And each one will cause CIG to have to rebalance all of the ships that are in game, Corsair included. These are first the flight model, which still isn't dialed in where they want it. Now, that's something to be legitimately be concerned about, but the more recent tweaks have started to improve things or at least make them consistent and seem a little more grounded in what they're trying to do. Second, multi-crew and engineering. Ships just won't be able to go balls out the entire time, and especially during combat. You won't be out there engaging in combat solo in anything larger than, say, a freelancer, or rather you could, but it'll be really risky, far more than it is right now. Third, and finally, armor. I cannot stress how much armor should change everything. Expect Drake ships to be very good at dishing out punishment, but less good at taking it. The hulls just won't be as heavily armored or durable as those of RSI, Aegis, Anvil, and so on. That's the trade-off. And of course, CIG will be balancing that ad nauseum until it's where they want it. Expect some growing pains from that. I mean, that's kind of what playing a live alpha project is. Pain. Sure, it can be fun, but it's also chaos. You basically have three choices. Embrace it, go do something else for a while and come back when it's less alpha-y, or just quit and find something less stressful and more to your liking. But, I don't know. That's my two cents anyways. What's yours? Let me know in the down below bits. Catch me next time. Mm -hmm.